Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Build Tune Race. I got the truck and trailer, and we're getting ready to go pick up a new project. So I got the air compressor running. I'm gonna go ahead and top off the tire since I have not used the open trailer since I've gotten the enclosed trailer very much. So gonna do that. Got about a 30 minute drive to go uh, check out this new project. So I've lived in this town growing up and I've never been up here. So I'm always uh, finding something new, I guess. All right, so it was a quick, easy process. I already got it on the trailer. So if you guys want to check it out, here it is. There it is. Got a, picked up a golf cart. So pretty clean little golf cart, older one. It's gas powered. So we're gonna uh, take it home. The guy said it ran when parked, but hasn't ran in like two years. So we're going to take it home, uh, clean it up, and hopefully get it running. And maybe just use it like this. I, I just watched Garrett do a big swap on putting a 1000 motor in this and all that uh, over on Cletus's channel. But I'm just looking for something that's cool for us to cruise around at the track. April's here helping me. She, uh, We ride around on the little pit bike, but sometimes these are easier to throw stuff on and go at the track. So we're going to uh, take it home and see what it takes to get this thing running. I'm going to ride back there and keep it straight on the way home. <laughs> got it all strapped down we'll uh see how we can get get this thing running or not but uh you know i guess there's always a few options you get it running you can use it for a little bit you can always sell it picked it up pretty cheap so phil i got a pretty good deal on it either way so it's always something that you can uh, use or sell get rid of maybe make a few bucks but plan on getting it running um at least and then maybe use it a little bit uh, maybe clean it up and keep it for a while. So we made it home, got the golf cart here. So one of the issues with the cart um, that I know of is this tire right here doesn't hold air for very long, but uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. It did come with actually the other hubcaps and then the uh, little center console and stuff. So just some little things to get put back on here. But otherwise like the body and everything's pretty clean on it. So it'd probably be painted pretty easy. Um, still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's here. Uh, gonna go ahead and get it unloaded try to drop it into the garage. I'm gonna April's moving the Mazda up right now So getting it pushed forward so then we can gain some room to put the uh, put it here Hopefully get it running and then eventually when it's running and everything if I'm gonna keep it and use it like as a pit vehicle It can kind of hang out in the trailer um, So then I don't have to take up a bunch of room in the shop Yeah, hopefully they work. So we're gonna uh, Try to get the thing in but as soon as we break the little up there it should roll pretty easy but as long as we have a little bit of brake it should work so hit the brakes you think they're working if there's like if anything's going they might not have any brake they don't feel like you got much brake <laughs> oh. oh. stay there for a second I have to put something in the way so in case it rolls off we don't just run into it I mean, we could probably slow. I don't think it's going to roll that fast because it's like flat right there. So I think we're going to be all right. Turn, turn your wheel. Straight, straight. There you go. Hold on, guys. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Not fast. I'm a little bit fast. All right. So now, take this board out of the way and we can push it outside and swing it in here sideways. Well, doesn't quite fit yet, so, um, gonna go ahead and pull it out and then back it in and then kind of set it in here sideways uh, I thought about moving the car out and actually putting the golf cart in front of it and then uh, but for today this will work and then maybe I can look at the engine and figure out what I gotta do for putting fresh oil and fuel in it to see if it'll run you gotta surf it <laughs> 
I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing though. There we go. <laughs> Have her back there cleaning off the trailer now. It's got a bunch of mud on it. That'll work for now until we get that thing figured out. Yeah. Don't want to jump too far. It's a long distance for you. Yeah. Oh, those ankles. All right, so we'll get this thing jockeyed around here. Well, it fits. It's uh, barely in here, but hopefully not for too long. Um, but yeah, I got this little tray, so I still need to get that mounted. Got to get a bunch of the like crap cleared out of it. Even got the fancy hubcats still, the OGs. And then uh, the thing that makes all the power, as you can see, it's been sitting a while. Quite a bit of um, cobwebs and leaves and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and figure out. I have no idea anything about these engines, so I'm going to try to figure out where the oil goes and how to check it. Uh, probably put some fuel in there. So this is a uh, two-stroke engine, so you got to mix the uh, oil and fuel on these uh the guy luckily whenever he drained it he drained out all the uh old oil gas uh and just put some regular gasoline i think in it to help preserve it or whatever but probably clear all that out maybe have to clean the carb or something on this thing who knows but uh otherwise it's it's all here it's all complete and supposedly it ran when parked so hopefully it's a quick little fun project to have a nice little pit vehicle for the next year i've been looking around um seats i don't know about front seats not too bad like you can get the whole rear seat conversion for like 200 bucks so that's not bad you can get like the off-road wheels and tires for like 500 um all this is still in good shape so i don't know like buff it or paint it or what she's already at home in it the top looks decent looks like it's got some cracks i guess um but not a big deal so will it sound like a two-stroke uh they said they like took the governor off and I don't know, something with the muffler or something like that, I think. Well, the muffler looked the same, so maybe it's just the governor. Uh, yeah, just some cleanup, and then we can try to hot rod this thing. Uh, I don't know what the sound of a true stroke is. Brap, brap. No, that's the sound of a rotary. <laughs> so, that's it, though. All right, everyone, so that's it. If you want to keep up with more uh, build videos on the golf cart, Clyde or the Camaro, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.